So here we've got the floor of the oven down, ready to start building the cobs around. But this is the part that we really want to have a look at. This is the door of the oven. Now we found it was quite difficult for people to actually build an archway when they were building an oven. Uh, you've got to get forms, you've got to put the bricks, you've got to understand about the, the keystone and everything. So what we've done here is build the archway for you. But what we built it, you know how we said we didn't want to have any artificial materials? Well this arch isn't made of concrete or refractory cement or anything like that. It's actually made of what we've called rock cake firestone. This door has got a lot to do with how the oven works. Now you'll notice that underneath here there's a small cutaway. That's exactly the amount of air the oven needs to function. So if I, and this is the chimney, we break this piece out, the chimney comes out here. Now while I have the door back here, it breathes very quickly and the fire rages away, but it, it keeps most of the heat in. If I want to slow the fire down, I move it because it doesn't draw in any more heat than can get out. And so I just put the, depending on how I want the, how quickly I want the fire to burn. I might be cooking a roast in there or something, I might want to idle it back a bit and I can do that. Now, at times I will take all the fire out. I'll light a fire in there and transfer all the heat into the cob. And then I'll rake the fire out. That's why we've brought the bricks forward here a little bit. We can hold a bucket underneath it, put the, uh, all the fire into a bucket, and then I swab it out. And then I put it right up here. And you see you've got a, a very good seal. And a little, I put a wet tea towel to uh, cover the vent. And I've got all the heat in here. And so I can cook uh, for hours and hours with just the heat of one fire. Now, as we said before, the oven, hold that for the if the oven isn't actually round, it's that it, it forms a, a cycloid dome over the top. And so we how we do it is we couldn't find an architect to tell us how to draw it. We simply draw two circles, one like that, another one there. Now we move it about 100 millimetres this direction, hold it there, and we draw a circle again. To join up with the other one. And that's where we'll, we'll lay our first layer of bricks around there. Now this is exactly the same material as we used everywhere else, it's just got more water in it. So we've thinned it out, and what we're going to make is, uh, there's different names for this, you can call it light straw, or uh, just insulation, but you get the, the straw. and we mix it in with the clay. But this time, instead of having mostly clay, <coughs> we're going to have mostly straw. And just enough clay coating the mix to make it into a 
the material. So that's, that's what we're looking for with this. And we'll coat the whole outside of the oven in this material, and that's like a woolly jumper. Here's our oven. We thought this was all built from the ground up. There was nothing there but a bit of a little bit of a hole in the ground this morning. And now we've got a beautiful picture up. So thanks for the effort of everyone here. Yeah. Yeah.